Hello dear students, uh, welcome to uh, Konar classes. This is the second session on differential equation and in this session we are going to learn how to find the general and particular solution of a differential equation. So let us first understand what is a general solution and what is a particular solution of a differential equation. Now before we proceed this, I would like to give you some uh, examples of equations uh, apart from differential equations. Equations something like this, you know, x square plus 1 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. What is the root? The root in this particular case is a complex number. Now, let us take another uh, example. It is sin square x minus cos x equal to 0. This is a trigonometric equation and what is the root? The root is a real number. So what we see dear students, so this type of equations that is you know algebraic equation, trigonometric equations, so here the solutions are numbers be it a real number or complex numbers. Okay. Now let us you know discuss about you know the differential equation. Suppose we get a differential equation something like this d2y dx2 plus y equal to 0. Now the as we already discussed in the previous session this is a differential equation. Now what is the solution to this differential equation that we are going to discuss now. Okay. Now the solution to this differential equation is a function. Okay. Not a value as we discussed here in this case. Okay x square plus 1 equal to 0, sin x minus cos x equal to 0. In this type of equations, the solution to those equations are numbers, be it a real number or complex number. But the solution to this differential equation is a function. Like this, what type of function? So, it could be a function something like this, y equal to 5x. What does it mean? It means is that if we apply that value of y equal to 5x here then it will satisfy that means that d2y dx2 plus y if we apply 5x here whatever the value will get it will be the left hand side value will be equal to 0 the right hand side value. Then we can say this is a solution to the differential equation. So what we understood is that that the solution to a differential equation is a function. Also, it is known as a curve, integral curve. Okay. Now, let us uh, uh, find the not let us find the solution to this differential equation. What is the solution to this differential equation? That we will learn later <coughs> in in some of our you know future sessions. But one thing we can say is that you know that if we solve this differential equation, we will get a solution something like y equal to a sin x plus b. Okay. So, this is a solution to this differential equation. I repeat once more how this solution is obtained that is not the discussion in this session that we will discuss later. What I am saying is that if this is the solution, okay. So, solution to this differential equation is y equal to a sin x plus b where <coughs> where a and b belongs to the set of real numbers okay now as we get a and b are you know parameters so we say this is a general solution why it is a general solution because we can change the value of a and b and we will get different different solution also this is known as a family of curves because this is nothing but a curve y equal to a sin x plus b where a and b are real number this is a curve. As we change the value of a and b we will get different curves but that will have the same property like y equal to that a into sin x plus b. So that is why it is known as a family of curves. So what we can say the other way dear students the solution to a differential equation represents a family of curves. Okay. Now how come we know that y equal to how we how come we can verify 
that y equal to a sin x plus b is a solution to this differential equation. For that, what we will do, we will put into the left hand side. Okay. So, let me <coughs> write it here. So, from this differential equation, if we take that left hand side, what is left hand side? Left hand side is equal to d2y dx2 plus y. Now, as y equal to a sin x plus b, what will be the value of you know dy dx? So, let me write it here y equal to a sin x plus b. So, this implies dy dx that is equal to it will be a cos x plus b and from here we get d2y dx2 that is equal to minus a sin x plus b. And how all this obtained we have discussed in details in the differential calculus classes. So now if we apply this value, what is the value of d2y dx2? Minus a sin x plus b plus what is y? y is nothing but a sin x plus b a sin x plus b. So we get this is equal to 0 and that is equal to right hand side because in the right hand side of this differential equation is 0. So as we see that y equal to a plus sorry y equal to a into sin x plus b is satisfying this differential equation we can say this is a solution to this differential equation. Moreover as we see in this solution that y equal to a sin x plus b <coughs> you know there are parameters like a and b this is known as a you know general solution. So, this solution is known as a general solution. General solution. Now, dear students, if we apply a specific value of a and b, both a and b are set of belongs to the set of real numbers. So, if we apply a specific value of a and b, whatever we will get that is known as a particular solution. For example, in this equation, if we apply the value of a equal to 2 and b equal to pi by 4, what solution we will get? We will get y equal to 2 sin x plus pi by 4. Okay? And this solution is known as a particular solution. Particular solution. So, dear students, what we have learned? We have learned is that, so if a solution is containing, you know, parameters like A, B and this type of solutions is known as a general solution and general solution is also known as primitive, okay. And if we apply a specific value to these parameters, and after applying those, whatever we get, that is known as a particular solution. Clear? Now, dear students, in the, from this particular topic, the kind of questions what comes is that a solution is given to a differential equation. You need to verify whether this is a solution to this given differential equation or not. So, let us solve couple of such problems together. Okay? Please open your notebook and we will solve together. Okay? <coughs> so, the first question what I am going to write dear students, so let me take it from my notebook. Okay. The first question is that verify that the function verify that the function verify that the function y equal to e power minus 3x 
is a solution is a solution of the differential equation of the differential equation d2y dx2 plus dy dx minus 6y equal to 0. So to solve this type of question what you need to do dear students is that that as y equal to e power minus 3x is given to verify whether it is a solution to this differential equation or not. What we should do first that first we make d2y dx2 from y equal to e power minus 3x. So what is given y equal to e power minus 3x. So from here what we get dy dx that is equal to minus 3 into e power minus 3x. From here we can find d2y dx2 and we will get that is equal to 9 into e power minus 3x. Correct? So what we get? We get the you know this three values we get y equal to it is already given that y equal to e power minus 3x after that we obtained the dy dx and then we obtained d2y dx2. So now dear students so let us apply all these things in the left hand side. So what is the left hand side of this given differential equation that is equal to d2y dx2 okay plus dy dx minus 6y okay. So what is the value of d2y dx2? 9 e power minus 3x. 9 e power minus 3x plus what is the value of dy dx? Minus 3 e power minus 3x. So you can write minus 3 e power minus 3x. And what is minus 6y? y is equal to e power minus 3x. So minus 6y should be minus 6 into e power minus 3x. So 9 e power minus 3x and minus 9 e power minus 3x this is equal to 0 which is equal to the right hand side. So as this particular you know function is satisfying this differential equation because the left hand side of the differential equation is equal to the right hand side of the differential equation when we apply y the dependent variable is equal to e to the power minus 3x we can say yes y equal to e power minus 3x is a solution to this differential equation. Moreover as the solution is not having any arbitrary constant or parameters we can say this is a particular solution. Okay. So now let us move to the next question. <coughs> If you have any doubt, never hesitate to ask me, okay. Uh, we have uh, our online platform. Through this, you can always raise questions to us, okay. <coughs> now, the next question, I am going to write it here, okay. So, let me write down the next question from my notebook, okay. The second question here is that, verify that the function verify that the function verify that the function y equal to a cos x plus b sin x where a b belongs to r where a b belongs to r the set of real numbers is a solution of the differential equation is a 
solution of the differential equation d2y dx2 plus y equal to 0. Okay, dear students, so let's work on this. So, the way we solved the previous question, the similar approach here, what is given y equal to a cos x plus b sin x. So, y equal to a cos x plus b sin x. Now, let us find the value of d2y dx2 when y is a cos x plus b sin x. To find d2y dx2, first we need to find dy dx. After that, that dy dx will be differentiated with respect to x to get d2y dx2, correct? So, from here what we get? dy dx. So, dy dx is equal to minus a sin x plus b cos x, correct? Now, let us differentiate once more to get d2y dx2, d2y dx2 that is equal to minus a cos x minus b sin x. All these differentiation are pretty straightforward and we have discussed in our previous classes on differential calculus. So, I am not explaining how we are obtained this thing. Okay? If you have any doubt on this, you can refer to the previous lectures on differential calculus. Okay? So, now from this differential equation, okay, what is the left hand side? So, LHS of this differential equation is equal to d2y dx2 plus y. What is the value of d2y dx2 we obtained here? Minus a cos x minus b sin x. So, minus a cos x minus b sin x plus y. What is the value of y? y is equal to a cos x plus b sin x. So, plus a cos x plus b sin x. So, minus a cos x plus a cos x got cancelled, minus b sin x plus b sin x got cancelled and we get 0 that is equal to the right hand side. So, now as the left hand side of the differential equation is matching with the right hand side of the differential equation, we can say yes, y equal to a cos x plus b sin x is a solution to the given differential equation d2y dx2 plus y equal to 0. Moreover, as we see in this solution, there are arbitrary constants a and b. These are parameters. You can take any real numbers. So, we can say this solution is a general solution to the given differential equation. Okay, dear students. So, I hope you got a very clear idea about the general solution and particular solution of a differential equation. With this, I am going to conclude this session here. In the next session, we are going to form differential equation if a solution to the differential equation is given. Okay? Now, what is your task? Your task is to, you know, log into the online platform, appear for DPP, followed by practice test. DPP stands for daily practice problem, followed by practice test, followed by unit test, followed by module test and finally mock test. Okay, so those who already have login to this platform, please uh, you know appear. And those are yet to get a login to this platform, please look into uh, the description section of this video to know the features of the online test platform and online learning platform. With this note, let me conclude. Thank you. Bye bye.